exactly is the mission? The Covenant's on Reach. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Halo Season 2, Episode 2, Review. After a compelling entrance, Halo's second season fires off new plot threads like ammunition. Luckily, a few of them hit hard. Warning, spoilers ahead. Halo Season 2 faces an uphill struggle. The first season was a mixed bag, but most of its excellent features were adapted from better science fiction. What the hell is that out there? Fans, enraged by the show's new canon and concentration on anything other than shooting aliens, were harsh on the first season. The second series has dived beneath the previous to uncover a number of fresh narrative threads, some of which are worth following. Halo's Season 2 debut was not overly concentrated. It contained three distinct plot threads, separate casts of characters, and a wealth of new material. Sword alternates between at least six narrative routes to provide a broad picture of the cosmos. The greatest of the selections is Riz 28 Ballad. Riz took a direct hit from a Covenant plasma grenade, clung to her armor as is customary, and narrowly escaped from the season finale. Riz finds it difficult to rejoin the group after the time jump in the first episode. She takes part in the war on Sanctuary, although her injuries limit her. Watching a Spartan deal with human frailty is immense. Hulk! Oh, Make ready. Jesus. Her teammates alternate between sympathizing with her and encouraging her to train harder. Her mentor is a blind former Spartan who provides invaluable insights into the life of a super soldier. It's one of the series' strongest emotional moments to date. The show should continue to focus on Riz's recuperation. Halo Paramount plus Riz cropped. While Riz attempts to restore her fame, Master Chief strives to clarify his story. His new supervisor, James Ackerson, doesn't trust his version of what happened on Sanctuary. John saved Talia Perez, a fellow soldier in the field, but she did not confirm his claim. When John finds Perez, he ends up at an unpleasant meal with her extended family. It's a rare and touching moment of humanity in a series dominated by aliens, silent super warriors, and the occasional. <laughs> One of Talia's cousins questions John about his kill-death ratio. It's surprisingly funny. The underlying thematic weight of John seeing life through another soldier's eyes is startling. Perez is a fighter who opted to battle while leaving behind a beloved family. Perez throws herself into the struggle with equal parts faith and terror. She is everything John has only recently realized he wants. It's a humorous family dinner scene that also serves as the best analysis of John 117's character ever seen on television. There is less to discuss on the other plot threads. Between Riz's heartwarming recovery path and John's introduction to the life he may have had, the other characters gain brief prominence. Catherine Halsey is in a featureless white room, playing backgammon with a mystery young girl. She's not sure why she's there, but by the end of the episode, the twist reveal hasn't really taken off. James Ackerson has firmly placed his fingers in various pies, enjoying a scene or two with the most of the renowned characters. Quan Ha is back, fleeing an increasingly brutal group of bounty hunters. Soren's wife, Lara, and his son, Kessler, got the short end of the stick, usually fretting and disputing about the whereabouts of their missing family member. It's a disorganized grab bag that spends the majority of its time laying the groundwork for future events. Halo Season 2 has a Talking Dead-style companion show accessible on Paramount+. Plus. The companion piece for this episode featured an interview with showrunner David Weiner. He briefly considered viewing the show's wartime scenario through the lens of the relationships between the main characters. He should not have had to say it aloud. It should have been the foundation of the series since the first season's debut. It wasn't, which is why the first season wasn't particularly successful. Sword and Sanctuary live and die by the new standing policy, and they're far better for it. That minor adjustment may transform an acceptable, if derivative, sci-fi action disaster into a compelling study of a universe that many fans adore. Halo Season 2 got off to a strong start. Its premiere had one of the most engaging action scenes on the program to date, and this follow-up shows a dedication to something more serious. The season still has six episodes to go, any of which might drag the show's quality down to the level of mediocrity that plagued its debut. The first two episodes of Halo Season 2 aren't merely better than those in Season 1. They're distinct and fascinating enough to offer hope for the next few. Thank you for watching.